So at Tetra 2024, March 5th, you know, we've got over 20 teams through the checkpoint of Rome. They're going through a very technically difficult section of trail right now. Uh, the quote-unquote farewell burn, which is a remnants of a big wildfire burn years ago. And obviously there's a very low amount of snow cover on this trail. It's basically bare ground dirt that these guys are running their sled dog teams. We're talking 16 dogs of extremely pumped up, you know, still charging. Uh, athletes going across there uh, with the musher on a sled with runners, so potential uh, problems can occur. They happen every year. Sleds get damaged, dogs get uh, sore this, sore that. Just like, you know, uh, someone who uh, can get injured when they're out there, you know, running up a hard scrabble surface, climbing a mountain. Same sort of stuff can occur with these sled dogs out there in the Iditarod Trail. So when these guys come, Nikolai McGrath, you know, when they emerge from that section of trail, we're going to get a sense of, you know, who's still got an intact out team and smile on their face. And also, when they get out to the Yukon River to Ruby, northern route this year, uh, because I don't know what the snow and the trail conditions are on that stretch of trail. It's going to be interesting when we hear the reports uh, before the mushers get out there and also the reports from the actual mushers, because, you know, driving a dog team on a section of trail is different than driving a snow machine on a section of trail, but it can be pretty deep, unbroken trail, because it's not sometimes in certain years uh, on both the southern and the northern route on that area, basically from where the villages are in Takata, McGrath, and Nikolai area, where there's a fair amount of travel, because people live out there, to that Portage route out to the Yukon River uh, in the interior there, you know, sometimes those trails are not as packed down because they're not as consistently traveled by the locals by the snow machine traffic, so it's exclusively put in for the Iron Dog, aka the snow machine version, or the actual, like, the, 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 the sled dog race with the sled dog, so that can be kind of a tough trail depending on the weather as well, if it's, you know, if it's snowing out, but but just in terms of, you know, wallowing in big deep, uh, you know, snow and not having that hard pack, you know, uh, surface, to just a motor on, motor down along, so, but usually by the time to get at the Yukon River, there's so many villages in terms of the native Alaskans who live out there. It's consistently traveled village to village, and the trail is, uh, it, it really depends on every year and the weather and other things, but, you know, usually it's the trail is consistently a little bit better from, you know, Ruby out to Nome. 